I'm sure at this point you've heard the news. Postage is going up once again. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's talk about it. Is mail still going to be profitable in 2024 and beyond? Should you send postcards out to get your listings? And all the questions relating to that topic. <laughs> I am the owner and founder of the Hyperlocal Agent, and we do send a whole bunch of mail. So the postage increase that is coming in July 2024 has a lot of people worried. What's going to happen with my cost? Can I still afford postcards? Now it's something else that is adding to right, the list of it's more expensive. So here is what we are actually saying to our members first and foremost. A, knowing how to mail is not just one size fits all. Okay? Our members have access to a bulk mailing training and EBDM course training, as well as targeted mail training. They know that they have options and they know that they can take our templates and they could just print it at their office printers and deliver it by foot. Yes, time versus money. This is a principle that all small business owners should absolutely know. Now, when you look at the cost itself, right? So we're going up for EBDM by two cents a piece, so from 20 cents up to 22 cents. And then our regular postage is going to go up from 68 cents to 73 cents, I believe. So that's a 5%, uh, 5 cent increase. Now that 5 cent can definitely add up. Take it from somebody that sends about 60,000 pieces of mail a year. Yes, I absolutely understand that this can add up because I'm living it, right? But at the same time, I also know that my mailers are still extremely profitable. For the last three years, I have had a 10x return, meaning I put a dollar in and I'm getting $10 out. Now, if we do it in terms of a spam, I'm putting 68 cents in and I'm getting out $6.80. I'm going to do that all day long. So now... If I'm going to put 68 cents in and now I'm going to get out of it a little bit less, I'm still going to be extremely okay with it. But I want to be here to tell you that you really need to learn how to mail, not just one way, but all the ways possible for small business owners. Okay, so let's think about um, right now we are releasing this. Uh, it is June. You have an entire 30 days of getting things out, right? Why are we not taking advantage of that lower rate right now? Stop procrastinating, right? and get something out the door this month. Yes. So example, I do a statistic mailer each and every quarter to my geographic farm that goes out to EBDM. We've actually been running the cost on it and I think it's about $600 that might potentially change in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get something out before July 14th. When you are doing mailings in a certain amount of quantity, this will add up, right? So my EDDM, it's 5,600 pieces that are going out. Five cents add up, right? So I have now a deadline. Use that deadline to get things done, okay? Make sure that you take advantage of this lower cost. Get those stamps, stock up on them just in case you need them. Now, I actually have been able to hold a whole lot less inventory on stamps and postage um, envelopes and all of this good stuff, just because we switched a lot of it into GeoCentral to make sure it is a lot more hands-off for me. Because as much as I love mail, mail can also be labor-intensive. Now, I did start with bulk mail and EDDM and bundling it myself and filling out the paperwork and dropping it off. And I'm grateful because it allowed me to then teach others how to go about it. But I'm also seeing that there is a way for you to work smarter with your time without actually spending more money. Okay. So if you are able to look at your mail pieces, and here is probably the ultimate hack for this episode, find somebody to support you in your mail endeavors. Okay. Example, if you are sending out a letter, the front side is for you, and then the back side will be um, a vendor partner, right? A lender, um, a tree removal company, whoever you want to partner with. If you do something like that, your cost of mail can be reduced significantly. So again, mail is still extremely profitable. The 
people that you will hear complaining are the people that just want everything done for them. That's right. If you don't take control on your small business and you're worried about your budget, it's time to start learning how to do mail the right way. So again, thanks for joining me. If you have more questions on mail, make sure you join us and talk to like our local agents and our Facebook community. And we talk a whole bunch of mail in there to make sure that you and your small business remain profitable, even if the postage is going up. So have a nice day.